Hello everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in the Elements Organizer. Now, the Elements Organizer is a file management program, media file management in particular, that comes bundled with both Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements. Now, throughout the organizer are a number of tools that many people are not even aware of or never bothered to explore, but there's some pretty cool tools. And if you go under share, for instance, you'll see there are a number of options for sharing directly to social media sites. And if you look under create, a number of really cool tools for packaging your, your photographs or packaging your videos. Now, a great many of these connect to Premiere Elements or Photoshop Elements. So unless you have both programs in addition to the organizer, you may not see this entire list. A couple of the templates I want to explore though are right down here at the bottom, the CD jacket and the DVD jacket. Now just to be clear on what those two are and what distinguishes them, this is a DVD jacket or what the program calls a DVD jacket. It's the larger format here. It's about five by seven inches on each side and the template is set to produce a piece that will wrap around the spine from front to back and give you both sides of the cover for a DVD. This on the other hand is what it calls a CD cover and it's the smaller, it's about four and three quarters by four and three quarters image on each side and again the template will wrap completely around the spine in the back to cover both sides and you'll notice that I use them to distribute quite often my DVD so even though it's called a CD cover this little jewel box can also be used to distribute your DVDs but let's take a look at how those templates work I'm going to select create and I'm going to select the CD jacket again can be used for a DVD if you'd like and you notice that it brings me over here to Photoshop Elements. It's going to open up a wizard in a moment here that will take us through the process of creating our cover for our CD or our DVD. Now it shows only one theme, but there's a lot more variety than you would expect here. So we'll click OK. Now, if you need to, the program will download the template. That may take just a second or so from Adobe, but you can see what it's done is it's grabbed a number of photos and just put them in here as placeholders for our DVD. These are actually pretty good, huh? Some nice picture choices here. I wish that the guides would show you where the spine is. The spine runs down the center of this, but you can move these elements around any way you want. So I can group them like this. I can actually widen or narrow the picture without affecting what's inside. And if I want to replace the picture, all I need to do is double click on it. Well, let me just confirm that change in size first and then double click on it. And I can choose the option to zoom in or out. If I select the option here next to the slider, that gives me the option to browse for a new picture. And let's just go ahead and we'll grab one here. We'll just grab this family picture here place it inside and again I can resize the picture or I can change the frame so let me just click off that and if I click on the frame I can change the size of it or reposition it without changing the content inside over here on the left we have the option to add type we'll apply that transformation here to the picture and then we'll select type and we can call this for instance family album and as you'd expect, uh, we can select a different font. We can select bold rather than regular. We can change the color. And if we confirm those changes, we can actually grab on the corner here and resize the letters themselves. So kind of can custom create the layout here. But in addition, if you go down here to the lower right hand corner, you can select from a library of layouts. I'm using the basic layout but let's see what other layouts are available. And you can see we have some where there are many photos, some where there's only one photo. So a number of options there. In addition, graphics, if we go over to this button here in the lower right hand corner, we can choose a different background. So right now it's a plain sort of peach colored background. Uh, we can choose one that has a pattern on it just by double clicking. It's gonna download it if you haven't yet got it on your computer and then it installs it. And so a number of options there also, including drop shadows for your photos. Once it's all done, you click the save button here in the middle and we'll save this. And we can click on print 
where we'll go to a print screen where we can print out this cover. And again, this cover is set to wrap around both sides of the cover. If you want to know more about these programs and all these hidden tools, check out our tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about the organizer and Photoshop elements and Premiere elements, check out our books. They're available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again soon.